Hello, welcome to part two of making my reception gown. Here's a quick sketch of my design in case you forgot. And now it's time to start draping on my dress form. I first marked out a high neck princess bodice on my dress form. The princess seam will go from the mid armholes down to the waist. After preparing my muslin, I can start draping the center front bodice. It's pretty straightforward. Secure the center front line and smooth out the fabric and pin it in place. Then grab a pen and mark the neckline, shoulder seam, armhole, princess seam, and waist. Using another piece of muslin, pin it to the side front bodice, removing the pins and lifting the center front bodice piece. Clip the fabric to release any tension, then mark the side front piece. For the back bodice piece, I pin the straight edge of my muslin along the back neckline and then smooth and pin the rest down. And that's it for the bodice, very simple. Next, let's drape the fit and flare skirt. I first pinned the grain line of the fabric down the center front and then pinned the waistline and smoothed the rest to hug the hips and thighs. From the mid thighs, I began to flare out the side seam to my desired fullness. My dress form is at a taller height than I am, but I just marked it at floor's length and can trim more away once I fit it on myself. For the back skirt, I gave myself extra fabric on the left side for the train. Again, I pinned the center back and waist, then smoothed out the rest to hug the hips and thighs. From the mid thigh point, I start to flare out the center back all the way down to the bottom and extend that line to whatever length I want the train to be. I'm just doing a sweeping train that hopefully won't need to be bustled, but I'm probably going to have to do it anyway so I don't step on it while walking or dancing. I cut the extra fabric to see how it drapes better. My fabric wasn't long enough at the bottom to extend and draw my train, so I just pinned on an extra piece to it, but TBH, I didn't need to do this because I'm way shorter than my dress form, but it does help to visualize. Now I can see how long I want to draw out the train and curve the shape up to meet the side seam. me clapping because it's looking so good.
Once I decided on the shape of the train, I can trim it away and see what the skirt looks like. Next, I trued up my markings on the muslin and added seam allowances so I can quickly sew it together to test the fit on myself. Everything seemed to fit well for the most part, so I went ahead and traced the muslin onto paper to create my paper pattern. And here are all my pieces. I'm going to be making a full-size muslin sample to really see what the dress looks like and make sure it fits. The skirt was still too big at the side so I pinched it in to hug me and marked where I want it to flare out. For the back of the dress, I asked Kathy to help fit me. I'm honestly so grateful to have her as my sewing mom. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I don't know if you can see this, I, I tuck a little, I put a little tuck in it right here. Yeah. We're just gonna take that out. And we're just gonna, and you know what? We might even, you know, we don't need to really take it out of the back so much, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna taper this out. You don't need to put it in anywhere else. You're, okay. We're just gonna make sure it's gone so you don't have that gaposis going on there in the armhole. Yeah. Okay? So now, see, it's gonna lay really flat there. Okay. okay? And this is gonna lay really flat. See if we need to pull, we might wanna pull just a tad bit out right here too so it doesn't have that little gap right there. Okay. After she helped fit me, I made the changes to my bodice and finalized it. And now we're ready to cut the actual fabric. That's, that's what we need to do. Now you need to get your bodice cut out. Yeah. So you wanna do that right now? Get it cut out? Yeah, we can stitch it together real quick and try it on you one more time. Are we ready for that? I get so like nervous. Oh yeah, let's <laughs> okay, just okay, jump yes. in with both feet. Yes, let's do it then. Kathy totally jump started my dressmaking process. Here I was thinking I would go home to mentally prepare myself before cutting the actual fabric, but she just cut all the BS and got me cutting and sewing the bodice already. You'll have to stay tuned for part three for the really fun stuff. And I want to hear all about <laughs> The Nightmare on Phyllis Street. Oh, How did you, you can also watch me star in a Joanne Halloween commercial with Phyllis from The Office. It was so much fun and I can't wait to share more. But for now, I'll link the video in my description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part three.